I want you to stop spreading rumours about my son. They weren't rumours, darling. They were the truth. They're not. You are mistaken. I heard you and Ted Hills may have enough about it. Well, you heard wrong. Look, I've got nothing against you or your family. The fact is, Mark's got AIDS. Why hide it? He has not got AIDS. You are mistaken. Look, I've been asking around. He's been ill quite a bit, your Mark. When Sam gave the square food poisoning, he was the only one who was off sick for a week. Cos your harebrained daughter poisoned him. Well, what about that wife of his? The first one? Jill. Yeah, that's right. Jill. She died pretty young, didn't she? She had cancer. How do we know she did? It's just your say-so. She had cancer! So you say. Mum, why don't you shut up? She's got no right to come in my pub and call me a liar. Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. But you are willing to ruin his life. He's bought it on himself, Pauline. He hasn't done a thing. Well, you don't get AIDS from sitting at home with your family. You get it from being part of the filth we're trying to get rid of in this community. Syringes in the kids' playground. Druggies in our pub. It's all part of the same thing. If you swim in the sewer, you catch something. And Mark has. <gasps> you don't know what you're talking about. Mum. Mark, I'm sorry. What's going on? You should be ashamed of yourself, sending women to do your dirty work. What are you talking about? Well, I don't care what either of them say. I know it's true. You've got it. And you shouldn't be out there putting the lives of innocent people at risk. Now, don't any of you ever show your face in this pub again. You're barred, the lot of you. Give me a brandy. A large one. Well, what the hell are you looking at? Where are you going? Um, it's the middle of the day. I don't care. What about the stall? I don't give a damn about the stall. Mate, don't do this, I please. told both of you to leave well alone, but you wouldn't listen to me. But we had you? to do something. There's nothing you can do. It's over. My life's over here now. No, it isn't. Look, people are going to understand. Oh, they won't. I'm a stranger to them now. I might as well go away somewhere else and die. Look, Mark, it's going to be OK. Trust me, the whole thing will blow over. 